the glimmer witch so today i have the lovely emma in she has come in we are have done her redesign on um her fingers um for some reason the actual design section didn't record or i've deleted it somehow i'm not sure which so what we've actually got is the um clear base i've took acrylics back down she didn't have any loss or anything it's three weeks since she had her nails done so i've removed any signs of lifting i have prepped and i have got ready to dehydrate so this actually shows me doing my thin clear layer so i'm wiping the nails off with prep spray plus on a lint free pad i'm just scrubbing it into that natural nail growth i then come in with my brushing dehydrator I dehydrate all five nails. Like so. This bit is in real time, the design bit is not. So unfortunately, I've got none of the beautiful, beautiful frozen pink that I did because it hasn't recorded. So I'm not sure if my phone got a, a message or a notification or something, but it obviously stopped it recording. But I have left you in my little clear base. So, you know, win-win. Um, you will notice later on in the video that at some point you will see a silver snowflake on the ring finger, which it then becomes white. That is because during the time that I was um, creating these nails, we were going to do the snowflake with silver. And I got the other ones done, the bauble nail, and I didn't like it. So I explained that it didn't flow because you had the white nail and then the silver. So we then wiped that one off and changed it to white, which went much better. So just applying my clear base, I will say I have woken up today with a rotten head cold. I feel like pants. So I've had a couple of people reschedule to next week just because they didn't want to catch whatever I've got. But some of my hardier clients have decided to risk it. So um, I have made sure that I have sanitised their hands and my hands, just in case. I'm sure it will blow over in a day or so. So just applying that clear base, I then go back to the middle finger and build it up with clear because we are just going to be gel polishing that finger. Using my size 10 Tracy loop brush as always. So the colours used were Frozen Pink from CJP. I've also used a hollow, um, hollow rose gold, rose gold holographic glitter, I think it's called actually, from Smiley's Glitter Store. And I have then used that same glitter and mixed it with CJP's Tack Free Top Gloss to make a glitter gel, which I've then used to create the bauble and the little dot of um, glitter on her index finger that has replaced the stone that was in the original picture. The original set that we used the inspo from was by at Gemma, Na Gemma's Nails 87. So um, give her a look on Instagram. Very cute, simple, pink Christmas set. My first Christmas set, technically. I have another lady in at four today. It is now 20 to four. Well, I should be here four, four to half past. Um, so my late appointment tonight has moved to next week now, which I'm quite grateful for because I'm not feeling great. I'd really like a, an early night. So um, that's probably why I felt so unwell the last sort of few days. I don't normally struggle too much. So this is where we switch straight to design. So I apologise. So this first finger I'm using Halo's White Gel Polish. So we will do two coats of that on this middle finger and this will be the one with the Christmas bauble. It's a very simple bauble. It is literally a ball of, of um, glitter and then a painted string with a bow. I haven't done any highlighting, I haven't done any outlining. Um, you can see how pretty that glitter is on that little finger. It's beautiful. 
Emma is due a new set. We took this one back and realised it was actually still in quite good nick, so we decided to stretch it so that we can then do her a beautiful new set for Christmas, which lots of my clients are doing. So I'm going in first. I've done that first coat of white gel polish and I'm top coating the other nails. You will now see that I'm switching between hands because I've got two lamps, so it makes it quicker. Um, this nail here is the only nail I wasn't happy with. The shaping didn't go very well on this one. Her nails are starting to hook slightly now, now that they need redoing, so we will correct that the next time she comes. And again, you can see me run my thumb or my fingers down each side of those nails before they go in the lamp. It just stops that um, gel polish pulling on the sides and making the nails look wider than they are. And because I'm doing square nail, you know, they can look even bulkier if you don't. So that's, that's my little tip. So then second coat of white gel polish, cure again for 60 seconds. And then we can move on to the design. Okay, so I have mixed that glitter with some CJP's Tack Free Top Gloss and I'm using a dotting tool to make that ball. So you will see me do that and put the little bead on as well on that index finger. Eventually, I have left this, I think this is in real time actually. I don't think I've speeded it up too much. It wasn't a massively long video. So yeah, just picking that up, just so that we've got exactly the same glitter in that little finger that we've got in our bauble. So if I was doing a more detailed one, I would outline this possibly with some black or some silver. Um, I would do the bow in more detail or even a 3D bow. I've done that before, always looks very nice. So yeah, just using that dotting tool really, nothing more complicated than that. Love these dotting tools, I don't know where they came from, I was given them from a client, I absolutely love them. So just getting that nice and round. Once I've done that, I cure that for 60 seconds and then I'm using CJP's silver acrylic paint to paint that string in with. So then I get a blob of that glitter again just to put there um, instead of using a stone. I do go back and add a bit more because there wasn't enough uh, there wasn't enough bigger bits of glitter to make it stand out. So you can see that snowflake silver, I hated it. It didn't go. So um, I go back in a minute and I wipe it off and do it in white because you needed the white. So simple, two little loops, that easy. I have seen people recently doing um, bits of ribbon that come down and over the bauble as well which I really like but we wanted to keep this one simple so there you go wipe it off didn't like it didn't go you need the white I don't know why I did that I thought oh I think she was just pointing out so I went back and added a little bit more glitter so using CJP's white acrylic paint and a dotting tool, I'm also using their Line It Fine brush just to do a simple snowflakey dotty type thing. Because Emma didn't want full on Christmas, she just wanted, you know, the lead up. So night, oh, there you go, went wonky. So I'm not being particularly careful about this. I am, I am working quite quickly. So I put those dots in first. I need to work on making that cross a little bit smaller, I think, so I can get more dots in, because I do like the dots. I then put my cross arms in. Like so. It's a nice brush actually, this, this Line It Fine brush, I really do like it. So then just adding those dots in there. And then it's just a case really of whatever you do one side, repeat it on the other. As best you can, as long as you've got room. That's me trying to decide whether I've got room to put those bits in or not. Yeah, that was better. You needed it in white. So this is the only finger I didn't like, the, the, the middle white one. 
it was a wonky shape I couldn't get it to straighten up so just showing painting on the other one so I did that cross a little bit smaller learnt my lesson get my dots in apologize if you just hear that reminder it's just to tell me that my client is due in 15 minutes so of course if I've got 15 minutes that means I've got time to run around light my melt warmer again my my oil burner uh, make sure the table's clean but of course I'm not because I'm sitting here doing this nearly finished so when I do any hand painting or um, anything like this I always um, do two coats of gel polish it stops um, anywhere in a way it works with foils and that as well so one thin coat of gel polish cure it for 30 seconds do another thin coat cure it for 60 once they come out of the lamp we give them a few seconds to cool down I then apply cuticle oil and that is your finished Christmas set loved doing these um, my first official Christmas set of nails so I will leave you to watch the rest of it thank you very much for subscribing and for liking and um, please keep doing so loving doing this and it taking off so well I'm gonna go get ready for my next client and I shall be back very very soon guys love you all bye bye